First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Wadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, teaching this truth time and time again, showing us to be men, men of the Lord. And I want to start this lesson off with a scripture. This is Philippians chapter 3, verse 8. Ye doubtless, and I count, wait, but what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for a Mashiach. So this is saying, for what things were gained to me. So I'm trying to think what that scripture is. Um, so what things were gained to me, though I count lost to a Mashiach. So no matter what it is, everything on this earth, anything you can get is literally Worthless. It, it just is is defiled. It's destroyed. So it's all worthless that I count lost for a Mashiach. That's the sacrifice that we're doing. That everything. So ye doubtless and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge, which is Rakakwadash, of a Mashiach, Yahweh my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and I do count it them dung that I may win a Mashiach. So uh, that's the parable. Pull it down. I think. This is a uh, we counted that everything in it, all this money, all this ring, it's all temporal, and then and that's scriptural. Because what did uh, how was I say? I just pulled up scripture. Sure and they said to Paul. To him, behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? So this is why he's saying that. For we answer Paul said unto him, behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh I said unto thee, verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the thrones of his glory, ye shall also sit upon the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So this wasn't I wasn't I looking for, but that, that's what that's what is the game that we count all that thing for a mashiach because he he he's going to give us. He, we're going to be joint heirs with him. Dang it. Yes. Slow here. So I'll pull it from here, right? This I'm just gonna pull it from here. Actually, no, I just I just get it real quick. This is what I was looking for. And we go back to that scripture. But this is it that we count all things done. And this is what a uh, Luke. This is the parable. Luke 18 verse 18. And a certain ruler asked him, saying, "Good master, what shall I do to?" inherit eternal life so this is what you have to do and we see what the benefits are we if we forsaken all things peter asks what will we gain and we the judge the 12 tribes and that's why paul in a philippian said he counted all things done because now we're gonna be able to inherit the earth with a righteous kingdom but a certain man a certain ruler asks and saying good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life. And Yahweh I said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good save that is God. Know the commands, do not. This is not. Bam, I'm going to drop down. Salakia. Now, do not to compare 
Oh, well, this is, I'm just going to read it. This is, this is edifying. Though Noah's commandments do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear fault witness, honor thy father and mother. These are commandments. So this is all those Christians that say the laws are done away with. Why is Yahweh shine red letter saying it? And he said, all they that have kept from my youth up. And now when Yahweh Shai heard these things, he said, ye lackest that one thing. Sell all that thou hast and distribute unto the poor, and thou shalt have treasures in heaven, and come follow me. So, well, what people will count like that? As is, I know brothers, I've seen brothers and apostles and elders of Great Millstone and all the elders, all the uh, and all the ones that teach like doctrine, that they don't care about anything in this world. They, they sold all their possessions and that uh, spiritual that they everything they counted as dung. But uh, so he said, sell all your possessions, distribute it to the poor. And we're and we're also distributing to the poor of our people, rich in faith. This knowledge given what's what's freely given we mean freely give. So that's what we're doing. And when he heard this, he was very soft for he was very rich. So that's why. You, you 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 have to make a sacrifice. What did David say? When we have to make a sacrifice, a, a great sacrifice. I don't know. I had written something else, but maybe it's the spirit. No, it's the spirit. Second Samuel twenty four verse twenty four. And King said unto Aniah, I mean Anira. Say, but I surely buy it of thee at a price. Neither will I offer a burnt offering unto the Lord my God of that which does cost me nothing. So David brought this threshing in the ox and 50 of the silver. But um, in the story, oh, let's go. But all things did, uh, our, I mean, our nyanum, was going to give David all this stuff that he was sacrificing for free. And David said, I surely will not. I mean, Lord, my God, that I will not burn an offering unto the Lord, my God, of that which cost me nothing. He wanted his sacrifice to mean something. He didn't want it had to actually, like, take it. Like So that's what we count everything. Our sacrifice has to be our sacrifice. Uh, we, we have to give it all our God. Because look, what did Yahweh Shai do? He showed great love. How? So. He, he died for Israel. So this is what he commanded us. John 15, verse 12. This is my commandment, red letter, that ye love one another as I have loved you. And greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend Ye are my friends if you do so whatsoever I command it. So we have to be ready to die at any time as how Yahweh Shai did. All this world was vanity. Because the even this knowledge is complete nonsense. So let me. But this wisdom, this wisdom, let's this wisdom is different. Like edification purposes. This is what the Lord count wisdom, which um, Mashiach has gave us or for Proverbs 8, verse 11. For wisdom is better than rubies and all things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. And that wisdom comes from. No, it's Proverbs, but. Every time I try to type it, so let's just. For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy knowledge of holy is is on, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So that's how we get it, and how we got this wisdom. Is more precious that we have to give forth and fear the Lord and be able to give everything we need for him. So let's get back to that scripture.
This Philippians. Yet, doubtless, I count all things but loss for excellency of the knowledge of Yahawashai, Amashiach, Amashiach, Yahawashai, my Lord, for I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them dung that I may win Amashiach. So everything that I lost, everything that I sold as that rich man couldn't, it was nothing. It was it was it, it was worthless. It was complete and other garbage or banjo. Because everything on this earth is vanity. Vanity of vanity. And the love of this world is. But let me get this scripture. Because um Acts chapter twenty verse Acts but none of these things move me, neither neither counted I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of Amasia. And I'm um, just for edification purposes that I have uh, neither I counted my life dear unto myself this is uh, this is what e revelations and then i go back to the scripture but revelations and even like tobit even though they pray like the, they wanted to give up the ghost uh, but let's get to the scripture one more tangent this is Revelations chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, the sacrifice of Amashiach, that, what they gave up everything for. And by the word of their testimony that they love not their lives unto death. So that's why he's saying that in that scripture. I believe it's Paul. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. But none of these things moved me, neither did I count my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy and ministry, which I have received of Lord Yahweh Shai, to testify the gospel of the grace of God. The grace of God is Israel is going to inherit the earth as joint heirs. Uh, uh, first the elect, and then the two-thirds will get destroyed and then come back righteous in the kingdom and all you heathen. And are going into fucking slavery. And that's the, that's the grace of God. That's the good news. And, and I sure do love it. So, so uh, this is what we want to say. This is, this is. The second Tim Timothy chapter four, verse seven. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. This is what we want to say. Herefore, there is there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which of the Lord, the righteous judge shall give me at that day and not to me only, but also to all them also that love his appearing and there's and with no greater love than a man to lay down his life and what uh, what did he tell the peter he said <laughs> we gave all these things and and uh, you become joint heirs and be able to judge the 12 tribes for doing this so that's why we hate our life unto death we love our life not unto death and we're ready to be bound so i, I think this is the scripture i was thinking of but This is Acts chapter 21, verse 13. And Paul answered, What mean ye weep to break my heart? For I am ready not to be bound only, but also to die at Jerusalem for the name of Yahweh Shai Amashiach. Meaning, well, Lord Yahweh Shai. And uh, I'm ready to die. I'm ready to be bound or not. I'm not ready. I am ready not to be bound only. He said, not to be bound. In prison, he said, some of you will be in jail for 10 days. I mean, which means, but also die at Jerusalem. Well, this is our people. Jerusalem was the people before. For the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. So this is 
This is this is the mindset though that all brothers should be because we we have to because we technically we don't even own ourselves. So I'm just get that real quick and then uh, probably one more circle. I say I'm just going to finish off with this scripture. We don't own a cell, but that's why because we've been we were gave up this life and we gave all all this stuff, and this is why. And Second Ezra chapter eight verse one, and he answered me saying, "The Most High has made this world for many, for these world these this world and the James the love of the world is empty with God, but this world and we are not of the world." But not this world for many, but the world to come for few. So with that, I want to give all glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakak, Wadash, and uh, the Wada Kings. Shalom.